Hello. Today we're going to groom and blow out an English Angora rabbit. This is Chrysanthemum. The beautiful little girl and she needs a grooming. But blowing out a rabbit is a much quicker and easier way to groom an English Angora as opposed to brushing. Brushing works just fine if you have a couple of rabbits, but when you, the more rabbits you get, the longer it takes and it's so much easier where the air current blows the fibers apart and separates them and really fluffs them up and makes them look pretty. So let's get started here. Take a flicker brush. And I like to do around their faces and their eyes and their little ears. I really don't like the lower blowing in their ears and eyes. It's not real comfortable. So that part usually doesn't get blown. So when you br or when you would brush, if you were just to brush instead of blow, put your coat up, take your slicker, and then brush down, getting each section brushed all the way to the skin and then move up. The same basic motion you use when you're brushing their faces out to make sure you get all the snickers out of their furnishings and makes it all beautiful. And go curly. Look at that. This side. A little bit matted up in there in our furnishings today. 
not too bad. She is ready to run down and play. There we go. That is a beautifully groomed English angler. If you do this regularly, once or twice a week, you really shouldn't have to deal with the mats too much. As you probably could see, the one section on the shoulders, I did have to work at over extra because it's actually been two or three weeks since she's been blowing out too long so but as you can see it worked out that section really good and there's a few more sections I need to work on for a minute or two but for the purpose of this video that shows you what we need to do and there is beautiful Chrysanthemum